I'm Vic. I'm Nick. And we are NV Board Gaming. And today we're going to look at Where Words. This game was designed by Ted Allspock and published by Bezier Games. It is a 4 to 10 player game if you go by the box, but the app says that it plays up to 11. Nick is going to go through how you play and then we're going to give our review. Let's do it right now. So, this game is a game of hidden rolls. We're gonna have, we're, we're, let's say we have a five player game. There's gonna be six hidden rolls. It's gonna be the villager, that's gonna have three tiles out here, the seer, the, were, the werewolf, and the mayor. So the mayor is gonna be the, essentially the organizer of this game. They're gonna be saying yes or no to questions, or maybe, or so close, or correct. Villager, has no idea what's going on, but they're playing the game right. They're playing essentially a game of 20 questions. So they're just asking questions, trying to figure things out. The seer knows the clue, is trying to guide the villagers in the correct direction. The werewolf is trying to make sure that no one gets this right at all. They're trying to throw people on a different path. Mm -hmm. That's their entire goal. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go ahead and shuffle these up and we're gonna deal them out. So everyone in this game is gonna know who the mayor is. So I'm gonna pass out five and one in the middle. In a five player game, and I have six tiles out here, one goes in the middle. We're gonna look at our rolls. I'm a villager. I'm gonna look at everyone else's roll. This person is a mayor. So they're gonna flip up. Everyone knows who the mayor is, like I said. So they're gonna grab the roll in the middle. Well, they're the seer. That's no good because now the person that was helping the villagers is uh, the mayor. That doesn't help him at all. They would, they would like <laughs> the seer to be in play to help them. So now they know there are three villagers out there and one werewolf. No one knows what the clue is except the werewolf. Yes, the werewolf knows the clue. So let's go through the app real quick. <clears throat> this game, yes, comes with a free app. You can download it um, on, I, I, this is actually an, an Amazon uh, tablet, so it must be on iOS. I'm sure it's on iOS and Android and all that good stuff, if it's on Amazon. So you select the number of players and what kind of difficulty you want. You also, let's say, uh, we have a timer here. So we have a four minute timer that we can turn off or on. And so I'm gonna collect, you notice that if I change the players, it shows what roles actually belong in that game, if you can see that. So we're gonna go five players. And it's exactly what I said, the three villagers, one um, werewolf and one seer, and the mayor's a given, so that, that's not gonna be highlighted. It's gonna be a mayor every game. And I select medium words, and let the, let's let the narrator walk us through. Close your eyes. Mayor, wake up and tap your secret role. So the mayor now is gonna select seer because they are the seer. They can choose either of these words. Um, we have Jacksonville, Alpha Male, and Rug. I'm gonna choose Jacksonville. Here is your magic word. Mayor, close your eyes. Seer, wake up and view the magic word. Unfortunately, that's me, so uh, oh, that's the, the mayor. So that does Seer, not help us. Werewolf now knows the word. Werewolf, close your eyes. Everyone, wake up. You now have four minutes to figure out the magic word. And the game has started. So there's four minutes, and now you're asking the mayor yes or no questions. Is it bigger than a ticket to ride size box? Yes. The question, the answer was Jacksonville. So you're, gonna add, you're playing a game of 20 questions and they're handing out chips. So you keep track of was that yes or no? So they can say, you have chips that say no, chips that say yes, you have a whole stack of them. You have a maybe, you have a so close, and you have a correct. Now, let's say the team, the villagers guessed correctly, or even the werewolf, if he's trying to throw a really, be really clever. Doesn't mean the werewolf has lost. The werewolf, if they, Regardless, if somebody is correct, the werewolf can now pick who the seer was. Mm -hmm. In this case, the seer was a mayor. It's going to be tricky because no one out there, you know, is the seer that you'd expect. It's actually the mayor. But the werewolf is going to pick who they think the seer is. Mm -hmm. 
if they think it's the mayor because these other fools didn't know what they were doing, they can call out them and win. It is possible for the werewolf to win despite the villagers being correct. Also the case, if you do not get it, the seer can call out who the werewolf was, who was trying to betray mm -hmm. us all along. That is how you play. So you're gonna, you can play this as many times as you want. That's a whole round what I just taught you. Mm -hmm. So, review. I didn't write down my uh, number. I will let you write that Good. and give mine. I scored it a 7.9. Um, I really enjoy the game. I like, even though I'm really obvious, I'm so obvious. Uh, when I'm the seer, it all fills up in front of me. And it, it like all you, what happens is I get a lot of uh, yes, yes, yes. And then that can really reveal you pretty quickly as being a werewolf or a seer because people can visually see uh, what you're um, mm -hmm. <laughs> what you're trying to do by those little tokens. It's not like you have to remember, oh, how many times did Victoria get something right and how many times did this person? No, <laughs> it's all in front of you. So it's pretty obvious. Um, so I like that aspect. I like the app integration. It's always fun to have an app, do the no-brainer setup and help new players learn the game pretty quick because it just goes through. It tells you exactly what you have to do. I made some mistakes uh, in the past of... Uh, you know, if the person that's giving out clues doesn't know, like, uh, properly about their word, uh, like I did with the word Scrabble, I didn't know Scrabble was a board game. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe you just submitted that on your board game channel. <laughs> I don't know what happened. She so just thought I, it was letters on a table. I threw a lot of people off. <laughs> I haven't played in a while, and, and I was never a big Scrabble person. But yeah, um, a lot of fun, really cool secret uh, identities that you don't know. Um, Nick, what do you think about it? So, um, my score is a 7-6, so pretty close, not far off. Um, there's a lot to like here. There's um, the hidden roles. Also, if you're somebody that doesn't like social deduction games, you don't, because a lot of people don't like it because you have to lie. This one, I don't feel like you even really have to lie. It's a word game. It's not about... Yeah, that. you can play it straight almost, if you're the, unless you're the werewolf. And even if you're the werewolf, you're kind of playing it straight, you're... You're trying to put yourself in the shoes. That's the way I play, as if you had no idea what it was. So once they get a little close, maybe I'll try to sneak in there, get them off track a little bit. But it's not the end of the world if you get it right, because now I'm trying to pay attention. If they've gone too far, I'm trying yeah. to pay attention who who got us here. There's two levels of games being played. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to pay attention to who got us to this point, who put us in the right direction. They're, they're my prime candidates for being a seer. I may be wrong. I may be right. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty fun. And it's easy to teach. So that's a plus. Um, it's it's a game I would bring out for new players. I wouldn't bring it out for somebody looking for uh, a, a nice board game. I'll bring it out for more of a crowd that doesn't play a lot of board games. So for me, it's not a game that really is I'm bringing out for myself ever. So it doesn't get in the aids. It doesn't get, you know, it, mm -hmm. get, it gets a 7-6. It is a positive score for what this game mm -hmm. does so as a heavy board gamer or whatever it doesn't scratch that itch and it doesn't really cross over like some games do so i am not giving it a really high score but i am giving it a positive review mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us for another installation of party game week um, we hope that you liked the, our, our video today and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Have a good one. Party on, George.